What up, Chili? Chilling by my oats. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. We appreciate you coming back to the channel as always, and we appreciate all of the early subscribers who have subscribed to this channel. This channel is specifically created for people who want to know how to take care of these beautiful little creatures right here. New chinchilla owners who need to know how to take care of them properly, what to feed them, what not to feed them, how to learn how to hold them, how to get them out of the cage, how to clean the cage, etc. This channel is for you. So if that is you, be sure to give us one of these thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you get all of the notifications of the new videos when they do come out. And today's video is something that I bet you a bunch of you are interested in, especially if you're a new chinchilla owner, but I'm going to cover five ways to increase your bond with your chinchilla. Stick around for about two seconds and that is what is coming up next. So if I was a chinchilla, what would I want somebody to do to where I would like them? Chili? The floor is yours. Tell us what you want to increase our bond. How do we get stronger together? You've got nothing, huh? Alrighty then. All right, guys. Like I said, this video is all about increasing your bond with your chinchilla. It is a big topic. It is important to understand. I can't even list every single reason that will help you increase that bond with your chinchilla, but I can give you five tips. Tip number one is patience, patience, patience. Patience wins the game. More patient you can be, the more this little lady will love you. And I don't know why she looks so sad today. Jeez, you're usually all over the place. Do you want some oats? Like, what do you want? You want a little bit of oats? What you feeling? Yeah, get up there and get some. All right, guys, yeah, patience. It's it's so important. I can't under understate that enough. You need to be patient, especially in the beginning when it is so frustrating that you just want to give them back don't because that's probably right when it's about to get better in the beginning she would not do a thing with me pretty much like she's doing right now making me look like a moron in front of all of you but the more patience you have the more they'll begin to trust you they'll recognize you your scent your voice everything about you everything about the environment it gets so much better if you can have patience get down on their level kind of like i'm doing right now in this playpen Learn to just speak to them calmly. Learn not to startle them. Don't chase them. Don't do any stupid crap like that. But that patience in the beginning is a huge way to increase the trust and to increase the bond with your chinchilla. Which leads me directly into tip number two, which is talk to them. It, it, you don't just have to get them out, pet them, and try and cuddle them. She sits right next to my work desk, guys. So. I can talk to her at any time of the day that I feel like it. It it makes a difference because you're communicating in a way with them that isn't so scary in the beginning. It helps them to just get used to your presence. And when you're learning to talk to them and you're not towering over them and you're kind of getting down on their level near the cage, they like that. They get used to it and they want that social interaction and then they begin to warm up to you. So make sure you're talking to them. Find ways to communicate with them and do it as often as you can. You don't have to, you know, break your entire schedule in order to find time. But when you can, take a few minutes out of your day just to interact with them. Speaking of interaction, that is tip number three. And you're looking at it. That is what I'm doing right now. I'm in a playpen with her. She's pretty boring today. She's not really feeling it, but that doesn't excuse me from not needing to clean her cage and not interacting with her. So I do it. If you get them out and you don't break the trust with them when they're out of the cage, which usually that's done by like trying to chase them or get them back into the cage. If you're not doing those things and the more often you're getting them out of the cage for a time like this, where we're just hanging out in this playpen doing the dust bath, the quicker that bond is going to be built. And it really doesn't break that easily. I've never had any issues with that during these five years with her. So get them out, get moving around with them in a playpen. If you have a safer chinchilla proof room, great. Use that. But that is my tip. Number three is just to do it regardless, get them out, do things with them, 
and that bond will increase naturally. All right guys, number four is get down on their level. This is a tip that is just not stated enough. Does it look like she's as big as a human? Does it make sense that a human might scare her a little bit? Especially considering we used to hunt them? Kind of, yeah. So instead of towering over them with everything you do, you know, standing six foot tall over, what is she, three inches tall? If that, get down on their level. I'm currently sitting Indian style inside of a 61 inch playpen to interact with her in a safe way. Get down so that they're not freaked out by your presence, especially in the beginning. And that bond, that's when they're gonna feel comfortable enough to come up to you, jump on you, get on your shoulders, jump on your head, poop in your lap, whatever that case may be, that's how that's gonna happen. So get down on their level. And then that leads me into the final tip. Number five is respect what they're trying to tell you. And they will try to tell you, you just have to be willing to listen. If they are scared, they may be breathing extremely heavily. They may pin themselves in a corner of the cage, not wanting to come out. If you try and pick them up, they might slip their fur. They might even bite you. Um, some chinchillas will even spray some urine at you. So when that happens, that's trying to tell you something. Don't just go right back in for the, the pickup and try and bring them out to play. If they don't want to do it, don't make them do it. If they don't want to be cuddled, don't cuddle them. If they don't want to sit in your lap, don't make them sit in your lap. Those things will come, but not when you make, not when you force it. So don't force it and that bond will get stronger and stronger each time you continue to respect each other's boundaries. All right guys, as far as the five tips, those five tips that I had for you as far as building that bond with your chinchilla, those I would say are the top five that you need to know and that's about all I have for you in this video. As always, Chili and I appreciate you stopping by the channel. We appreciate all the subscribers. If you are a new Chinchilla owner and this has helped you in any fashion, give me and Chili one of those thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you are notified in the future. Drop us a comment down below on the kind of videos you would like to see in the future so we can make them for you. And always remember, every Tuesday and Thursday there is a new video, so be sure to check those out. And never forget to go to PlanetChinchilla.com or to check out our newest ebook, which is on planetchinchilla.com under ebook slash downloads. Use promo code chincare50 for 50% off. Again, that's C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E 50 at checkout for 50% off. We appreciate you guys. We love making these videos for you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Stay safe and take care. Mm -hmm.